Hi there and welcome back to our channel, Sean and Zara Chain Travel. Uh, we've got a new adventure now, haven't we, today? Travel day today of our... Uh, cruise on Azora from Tenerife around the Canaries. We have, we have. We've, we've had a build-up to it. We are, uh, it's, a, it's a fly cruise, our first one. So we are all packed. In fact, you've been doing it for about a month, haven't you? Yeah, I've been, I, I packed too early, but and I, then, you know... And what we have to do is when you pack early, you have to move the suitcases around from different sofas to different beds to sofas. To you get you get the idea. But that's what we've been putting out with. But today's the day that we're off, and we're going to be travelling up by train to London Gatwick, staying in the, the hotel overnight because the flight's due to go hopefully on time at ten to ten tomorrow morning. Yes, so we're aiming to leave the hotel uh, about seven a.m. to get to the airport for just after that. And yeah, and then the fun starts. There is four of us that are going to be travelling, us two, and also uh, Sun Paul and his fiance Nicole. So you're going to be seeing other people in the video as well. Uh, what are we going to do then? What can you expect? You can expect a daily vlog of everything we get up to, with the caveat, of course, of the fact that it's our holiday. We, we've chosen to do it. There's loads of things to do, and we'll try and highlight all those as well, uh, as well as the menus for all the food, the drinks, uh, and everything else. We have booked the classic drinks package, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out against the deluxe. We've, we haven't had the drinks package of the new ones. It was, well, yeah, a couple it was, of years it ago was the now. old um, ultimate uh, drinks package we've done before. So this is um, slightly different. Um, so we will review that. We've also got uh, rest two restaurants, speciality restaurants booked. Oh, looking forward um, to that. I Sindhu and Epicurean. Yeah, and yeah. when we're in Madeira, we have got the cable car booked, and we've booked that with an independent company, um, not through the uh, P and O cruises. So we'll just see how um, that is. We have, and we've been looking at the weather forecast. Hopefully, it's not going to be raining in Madeira, like it says. It's going yeah, to, yeah. Uh, it might, I think it's car. only drizzling, but. That's fine. I'm still doing it. So. Hey, we're going to be away. We're going to be away. Yeah. Um, we're going to go and get on the train then. Uh, and uh, then we'll be up to the airport. We've had to think really carefully about baggage this time because of the weight. Usually, I mean, we don't live far from Southampton, so usually we, we take the whole house literally down to the docks, get it on board, and um, and that's that. But it's we've had to be more creative, I think is the word. Yes, yes, we've had to keep with 22 kilos per um, suitcase. Uh, we I have no idea how much it weighs. We were waiting to borrow a weighing device from Paul when they, he comes to pick us up. Going to come pick us up, drop us off down the train. Um, interestingly enough, actually, you say 22 kilos. We're allowed 23 kilos on the way out with Tui and Jet Tui are 22 kilos. That's right, isn't it? Yes, it yes, and we around? can't lose some clothes, so we'll have we're to gonna... stick with the lower one. <laughs> See, but it's only one kilo. And our hand luggage <laughs> is 10 kilos, which is um, bigger than the um, normal um, amount as well. And to be fair... It is adequate, actually. We haven't cut down and cut down no, too much, so no. it's really good. Anyway, the train. We've got to get it. We've yes, got yes, seats yes, yes, we don't want to miss the train. We'll meet you on the train. Yep. This is our very first fly cruise. We are super excited. Uh, we've got a vlog for every single day for you on board uh, P&O's Azora, including our travel day as well, which this one will include. So uh, the uh, travel day before the travel day, the uh, first night of the cruise as well. So this is episode one. Do look out for episode two as well. As I said, there is a vlog for every single day. Don't forget to follow us on our socials, Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Sean and Sarah Jane Chapel. Um, we had two trains, so we got it. Uh, we went from Romsey, this is Fratton, we got it Fratton. Going to get back on? Yes. On the Vic London Victoria train heading for? Gatwick Airport. Gatwick Airport, and then uh, we'll get off that and get the bus to the hotel. Second train, got something to eat as well. Gatwick, here we come. Arrive, we are off the train at Gatwick Airport. Uh, and now we've got to get a bus to the hotel. It's odd really, isn't it? We're actually at the terminal yeah. where we need to be for the flights tomorrow, but to um, to come up tomorrow morning it would have been too early. So um, let's go and find where the bus is. We're going to go up the lift now, find the bus, and um, we'll um, get to the hotel. Yeah. We came into the terminal, uh, then we got the lift down to zero, and now we're going to find the is it the mega bus? I think, you say? A, I think it's a mega bus. We'll find out when we get there. Mega bus to the travel lodge. 
It seems weird. We're at the we're at the very place we need to be tomorrow morning to fly, but it is an early start, so it'll be it'll be nicer. Should we find the bus? Yeah, let's go that way. That and way. And see if we can work okay. Out which one. Let's go do it. Okay. £4 something each, £9 in total from Gatwick to the hotel bus number 9. Bus stop 9? Oh, oh, bus stop number 9, that's what you're on. The travel lodge got off the bus, into reception. Got our card. Got our card, couldn't video in there because music playing, copyright and everything. Ava Max, my head, my heart was playing actually. We're at room 35, which is really really close downstairs ground level yeah ground floor ground floor sorry ground level ground floor let's have a little look let's see what it's like well we've just ordered our dinner at the travel lodge and it's just arrived i've got the flat bread pizza which looks really nice and a massive salad with it and sean what have you ordered sean club sandwich comes with some chips as well got some ketchup we're gonna put some salt on there Got the red wine. Do you know what? We're almost on the cruise already, aren't we? Yes, yes, we are. And it looks, this food looks really, really nice. Let's see how nice it tastes. Pull the chip. Very uncomfortable. Very good. Right, well, um, I will see what mine tastes like and we'll be back soon. And then um, Sarah's going to tuck into hers. My chip was loaded. nice, fully loaded. Mm. Now it's dripping around your chin and everything. And do you know what? The holiday started, isn't it? We got some food, got some drinks, overnight stay in a hotel, extending the holiday by actually two nights because we're doing it when we get back as well. We're staying yeah. in the travel lodge as well. So, yeah. Well, we'll compare this pizza to the one on the cruise ship. On the cruise ship. Let me know which one's the best. Oh yes, definitely, definitely. It's quarter past six on, I suppose, official travel day and travel slash embarkation day. Uh, flying down to Tenerife, getting on board Azora. Can't wait for seven nights of fantastic fun, luxury cruising. Uh, how did you sleep, Sarah? Well, all right. Woke up loads and loads of times. I did actually. But then I went back straight back to sleep. I think it's just the excitement of going on a cruise. Here so we are, we've arrived at the airport. Um, what terminal is it? I've forgotten now. North Terminal. North Terminal. Get the lift up, second floor. Turn left when you come out of the lift, and the check in desk is just behind us for PO. Yes, it's, it's really, really well assigned. Let's go and see how smooth the check in is. Checking out the Gatwick. So you check your bags in, reclaim the other end, pop on uh, a uh, bus with a crew, and then they'll arrive at your cabin. Perfect. That's what we're told. All checked in, now we're off to security, get through there and then uh, have some breakfast. Which way are we going, Sarah Jane? Straight ahead. Straight ahead? the dudes. Yes, we must introduce you to, uh, to the two in a minute. We'll catch up with them. Done. Through security, super smooth. Literally five minutes and we're at home. Yeah, all done. And then we're going to walk through departures over there. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to the two people who are going to be cruising with us. Hello. So we've got Sun Paul, fiance Nicole, Hi. traveling with us. How's it been so far? Very good. Yeah, it's been good. Stress, stress free. Stress free. Yeah. yeah. Now I suggest we go through departures and have something to eat. What do you reckon? Yes, definitely. Please. Starving. And yes. kickstart the holiday off. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> through and we have found the duty free shops having a look around it's massive do you know what we got lots of time so it doesn't really matter how long we take really having a, a look around use up some time as well then we'll grab some breakfast get a coffee and um get ready for our flight we we're now on the queue for weather spoons it's going down fairly quickly but very very busy very busy very busy want to get our breakfast don't we yes breakfast on the app, 
I'm having a breakfast muffin thing for Van Abbott and you are having a freedom breakfast. Freedom breakfast. Mm -hmm. That's all what it's called. And what else? And a cup of tea and, and a pins. Well, it, it's gone eight o'clock in the morning, so it's absolutely fine, isn't it? Um, hopefully it'll look nice when it gets there. What did you order then for breakfast? Who started? I've gone for the egg and bacon muffin with a Pims and a hot chocolate. And all, pork. all on one plate? I've also got yes. a breakfast muffin and uh, oh, Stoker Press cider and I'll be sharing Nicole's hot chocolate. <laughs> so, so we'll see what it looks like when it comes. And happy birthday, by the way. We haven't Thank said that yet, have we? So, no. uh, a birthday on a travelling boarding day. Mm -hmm. The best time. In the gate now, it's come on the board and it's the furthest one away. 45J, we will buy 550. Yeah, 45J, we will buy 550. And um, it's a good job we're highly cheap, that's all I can say. The, the exercise for it. Yep, let's go. I thought we got to catch a bus out to the airplane. Here we are, arrived at the airplane. that arrived before we did at the terminal very know, very good really um, so apparently now we've got to drop these off with piano reps it goes one way we get on a coach and, then we, meet and we all meet the at the cabin, the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so far so good just waiting for the other two cases for Paul and Nicole and then we'll be away on the ship transfer our luggage uh, didn't go separately it's on the same coach which is fine uh, 45 to 50 minutes he said didn't he yeah. Easy. Off the coach. Here we are, here we are. You've arrived. First look at the outside. So, Jane, you got your bag? Let's go. Let's go. Here we are. So, we come through this area where they stamp your boarding card and say, you go okay to board, board. ready so to you board. Can check your passport and the um, boarding pass, stamp tip, say ready to board. So we okay should be to okay to board. Yeah. Very nice and smooth. Love the security of this, it's so light and airy and nice yeah, to get through. Yeah, really nice. Accessibility is brilliant here. Yeah. 
all the security of the terminal building and everything. So we're on our way on board Azora now. We've got our boarding passes, they're stamped good to go. And I think our cruise cards will be at our cabin, so we need to go there first. guest muster drill 5.45 today at our muster point let's go and find the cabin right, find the cabin now so we're on Riviera deck deck 14 and what are we, 708 is it? 708 we are, but they're the opposite side to us. So we are, which is the odds and the evens. Are we here? We're here. 707? 708. So, why did I say 707? Because that's what their cabin is. Oh yeah. So they've gone off that way. They're the other side of the ship. Classic We are this package. side. Tra classic things package. Oh. Curtains are drawn. Just need to put the card in I've, to activate the lights. I've got the door. Is that that? There we are. There we go. Lovely. We'll do a full room tour on a separate video, as always. Freedom dining, are we? Okay, good, good. So there we are, it's just, um, just like Ventura, isn't it? Yes. Obviously. <laughs> nice balcony, let's have a little look. Very nice. This will do nicely, won't it? Yes, very nice. Just going to look at what we us in the cabin if you want to have a look at a cabin review of um, A708 got it right this time uh, then uh, do check our channel we have got one of those on there for you to have a look at right throughout the cabin dumped off our stuff the case that hasn't arrived yet the cabin steward's been to introduce himself which is nice and uh, he assured us the bags will be with us it might take a while but it'll be with us so we've turned right and we're heading towards the back of the ship, the aft, and see where we come out on this door. Just the end of our little corridor. Yeah, and this is. steps up. And we're gonna take some steps up. Right by the turn. And we're right by the pool. And sunset bar. It's not far at all, is it? Pool and the sunset bar. Oh, let's go and get something to eat then. Something to eat and something to drink, I think. Pims, cheers. Cheers. And also, who else has gone for a Pims? Nicole's gone for a Pims. You went for yours. Guinness, <laughs> imaginary. And then my Guinness will be having a Guinness. Yeah. Here we go, Sean, go into the pool again. Right, there we go. There we go, strawberry daiquiri, is it? Strawberry daiquiri. Enjoy, enjoy. 
<coughs> here she is, Sarah Jane's got pizza. Well, actually, I've got pizza as well. you got pizza. Is it nice? Very nice, thank you. Very nice. Mm. Apparently, the grill wasn't open. So they got pizzas, but they're going to go and check because apparently they saw someone over there now. Yeah, so, we, so we could be having a burger or something, couldn't we? Yes, we could be. We've got ourselves at the grill now, don't we? Yeah. It was open. And it was open. And, um, yeah, so we've ordered ourselves a cheeseburger. We can have that, have an old drink, get the food. <laughs> Down the at the muster. Myself and other crew members present are here for your comfort and safety. Enjoy the muster so far. It's cold. Any questions, got listen, got listen now. Please let one of us know. Any questions? You will note that crew members around the ship are wearing their life jackets. Yeah, muster done the enhanced passenger muster. So we're back at the cabin now. It's, um, must be about six o'clock or something, is it? 10 past six. 10 past six, even later than I thought. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get a drink, I think, from the Sunset Bar, bring it back. And we might even have a lie down for a moment before the evening starts, because we start really early this morning, uh, getting to the airport. Really tired, didn't really sleep that well last night. Didn't sleep that well, the excitement and everything else. And it's, it's you know, it's just one of those things where it's lovely to fly here and have instant sunshine and really nice weather in October, at, at the end of October. Um, but I do think there's nothing like getting on the ship in Southampton and sailing from there because we live so close to it. Yeah. And it's uh, much more relaxing, but we're going to have a fantastic time. So let's go and get a drink, come back, have a little rest, and then we will go out for the evening and have a great time. Well then, so we've got some drinks, sunset bar, terrace pool, docked in Tenerife. We've arrived today, haven't we? Yeah, and we've got some nice views here. And, yeah, I was going to say, this is the back of the ship. And uh, there's something going on over there with uh, a live band and things, a market or something. It's all going on in Tenerife, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Right, heading back to the cabin. Sort our stuff out, get ready. Yeah, got unpacked, yeah. And out we go. Okay, we are, we are ready now for a fun night out. We're um, gonna meet the other two up at the Planet Bar. That little lie down, <laughs> because to be honest, we're full tired as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite it's, sad. Um, it's quite a day. If you think about getting, I know I've said it before, but if you think about the time you need to get to the airport for check in and three hours before and all that kind of thing does take it out of you on the, on the day, that's for sure. But hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep tonight yeah. and be great for tomorrow. But we're going to go out now, Mint and Planet Bar. We're Freedom Dining, so we'll get that booked in, go and have something to eat, and then see what shows are about. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Shall I show what you're wearing? Can if you like. They're looking lovely, as always. Tomorrow night is celebration night. So we'll have to take time to get ready and everything tonight else. It was and just jeans and a top. Look fantastic. Let's go and get a drink. Yeah. There we are. So we're in the Planet Bar and uh, Sarah Jane is perusing the drinks menu. What are you going to go for? I was going to get a bramble gin. Bramble gin? But I don't know what to have it with. It's a mixer. Oh. Let's take a look at the menu. Hang on. We're down here now, all got menus, order ordered, first meal, what are you having? Asparagus for starter, 
and a vegetarian meal for names. You can't remember and what I it is, can you? <laughs> Not you the, the exact name of it, sorry. Oh. Right. So it was aubergine. And a dessert as well. Cheesecake and dessert. Cheesecake. Nicole. Um, I went for the devil, deviled white, tail, white bait, the steak, and then lemon poppy seed cheesecake. Now you went for a steak the same as I have it cooked. Yes, rare. Right. Cool. I got the deviled white bait for the starter and the steak before the main, but I haven't chosen the dessert yet. No. Okay. Uh, the uh, smoked trout for starter, done on the oven steak medium again, and um, I didn't choose the dessert. So let's have a look at um, what they look like when they arrive. So my smoked trout has arrived. Sarah's asparagus has arrived. Going to taste it. We're still waiting. Still waiting for two more starters and then we'll get started on it. Looks all right, is it yours? Yeah, very nice. Mine looks okay. I we'll have to get some more drinks in though. Yeah, then. There they are, they're little things. So, oh, nice. who's going to dig in first then? Oh. Super fishy. Is it nice? No idea. Fishy? Yeah, it smells very fishy. Oh, you haven't, you haven't um, tried it. Right, <laughs> trying it. Right, here we go, here we go. First time ever. Get to them, get to them. That's very nice. It's not as Sarah? fishy, it doesn't taste fishy. It's very nice. Sure, it's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Yeah. On the white bait, if I'm honest. Uh, Is it? Yeah, a little bit too fishy for me. Too fishy? Very much bait like. Bait like. <laughs> white bait, too white bait. Bait yeah. like. But Nicole liked the white bait. I enjoyed it very much. I ate all of mine and almost all of Paul's. Well there we are, you see? So we're we're not we we're go. not wasting here, are we? Nice. And how was your asparagus? It was very nice. Good. How Good. about yours? Did you enjoy yours? Mum's lovely, yeah, the trap was lovely. Wait for the steak, you're waiting for your Vegetarian option. <laughs> Is it the Noki? No, it was um, something with aubergine. Oh, it's aubergine. The problem was, I wasn't ready and I didn't know what I wanted when it came out. It was a bit quick. So uh, I had to like, uh, yeah. oh, I'll have that. And go for it. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, oh, we'll wait to see what it's like. We'll show it well. It's arrived the mains, my steak, Sarah's vegetarian. Aubergine, Nicole's steak, steak yeah. I'm very happy. and Paul's steak as well. You're going to dig in, sir? Yes, I will. For now. Yeah, go on. For now. I don't know what it's like, the aubergine thing. Whatever it's called. Very nice. Right, so I did go for dessert in the end. I know it's not like me, but I did. I got um, flangy, what, what do you call it? Flangy pan. Flangy oh. pangy. No, flangy pan tart. Flangy pan tart. That's what I got with custard. Uh, Paul's gone for the deluxe ice cream. Just the ice cream, yeah, just the ice cream. In. And the ladies have gone for nothing. And uh, we've got the cheesecake, very slim line. Slimline. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Hasn't arrived yet. Uh, he didn't have to wait long. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks very nice. Go on then. Let's have a little look. Have oh, a dig in. Yeah. Have a dig in. I wanna see your face. What's it gonna be like? Huh? Very nice. How are you Very nice. Very nice. A fabulous comedian! Yes, my third show. Yes, it's lovely, thank you. People from Scotland has come in twice. That'll teach you. Yes, it's lovely. Lovely young crowd. We've got a smashing young crowd in. Yes, like CBeebies. I've just come off Fred Olsen. That's not. Now there's only one with my own hips. 
Nobody under 19, never laughed, but still went to sleep. <laughs>